Macho Man, did you have much experience with him? No. No, he was a, he was a good guy. Didn't bother, but he was, that was his, uh, the initial Liz period before, before he started getting over, you know. Is that true, the Liz stuff? Or is it exaggerated of how protective he was of her? Yeah, half and half. Yeah. Half and half. I guess, you, you know, to a fault at, at, at times. Because you hear the one story, I think the Honky Tonk Man tells it, that he once, there was two dressing rooms or something, and he kicked everyone out of a dressing room and made them change in the hallway so Liz could be locked in that particular I wasn't around, I never, I never saw that. He would have her, you know, he would have her in a room or something. Yeah. Separated, I, I don't know that they were. She was cool, she never bothered anybody. She was always, you know, and he wasn't, uh, at that time he'd just come in before he got, you know, he started putting him over real heavy and, you know, he, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't that much of a presence, that much of a disruption. Kind of went on his own path, stayed, uh, you know, stayed with Liz, stayed out of the, you know, work out or do whatever, but he wasn't around. Kind of like Bonnie Steamboat and, and Ricky Steamboat, they were, you know, trying to warrior with his wife.